Hello there, this is Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Thanks for joining the Florida Yacht Pro channel. This is a channel where we review various boats that are on the market. Today we're going to be looking at a hydrofoil electric boat. This is by Swedish builder Candela. Denison Yachting is very excited for this hydrofoil electric boat. And today we're going to take a look at the boat and the technology that goes into making this a successful watercraft. Now a lot of people when they think about electric boats, they wonder why, why don't we just convert an electric boat like we can convert an electric car. They see Tesla out there, they see other car manufacturers, they think, oh, let's just convert it over. Uh, the reality is that a typical 25-foot day cruiser actually uses 15 times more energy than a car does. So it's not simply like we're taking a four-wheel vehicle and converting it from gas to electric, we're actually changing the whole media. So a typical day cruiser, again, about 15 times more fuel consumption per mile than a car. So we're dealing with a lot of dynamics outside of just the, the power source itself. Another consideration is gasoline. So a lot of day boats use gasoline. Gasoline actually has a 15 times more energy in the power density than a lithium ion battery. So lithium ions, great, has a lot of advantage, but gasoline still has more power density at the end of the day. So if you take 1 15th the energy consumption and 1 15th the power, that's a bad idea. So we've got to change some other dynamics here. What Candel has done is they've changed the game entirely. So they're using hydrofoil, extremely lightweight, carbon fiber designed boat, as well as technology. So we're going to take a look at how they combine all this and they make a hydrofoiling electric boat that's 80% more efficient than a typical boat of its size. So let's talk a little bit about this technology. First, we're going to show you the carbon fiber layup of this hull. This boat manufacturer used advanced fluid dynamics to model the hull and the hydrofoil for this design. All factors have been thought about as far as creating the most efficient hull design as well as the lightest weight, sturdiest, and strongest for the mission. In addition to the carbon fiber and fluid dynamics, there's other things that go into this. Some advanced technologies such as gyroscopes, accelerometers, and barometers are all things that are used in drones. Now over the last five years, this technology has been miniaturized for cellular phones and the commercial drone industry. So what Candel has done is they've used off-the-shelf technology for gyroscopes, accelerometers, barometers, and other sensors and miniaturized this to come up with a highly efficient computing platform. This boat actually has seven different microprocessors on it. Additionally, it has a large touchscreen, which is the main heart of this boat and where the user will interface with it. The boat has an onboard data acquisition system and it's continuously logging all the variables. Also, it has a cellular data link. Ultrasonic sensors throughout the boat, primarily in the bow, continuously adapt the boat to the wave condition that's out there. Candela has used extensive testing and modeling of how the system performs in various sea states. And all of this is written into the software. So how this boat operates is truly a software controlled system. Now, since it does have the data connection and the cellular link, we can perform on the water firmware upgrades. So this boat is always connected to the cloud and can be updated in real time. Next, we're gonna talk about the environmental impact of having a full electric boat. Now the obvious things such as exhaust and emissions are great because we cut down on all of that, but there's other hidden factors such as fuel and oil spillage. We've all been on the water before and seen either gasoline, diesel, or oil floating on the surface of the water. All of this has an environmental impact. So a great thing about Candela is we eliminate the need for any fuel, diesel, or oil that can get into the environment. Now, again, if you were to have a full displacement electric boat, there's certain limitations there, but because we're using the advanced hydrofoiling and computer technologies here, we eliminate 80% of the fuel consumption. One example of that is we can use about 30 horsepower worth of power to propel this 25-foot boat at 25 knots. Our best flight speed when we're hydrofoiling is at 22 knots. This gives you a range of 50 nautical miles and has a reserve 8 nautical miles at slow speed to return to the dock if you do burn all the power out. Now again, this represents an 80% power reduction, but it also represents an 80% wave and g-force impact on the people that are riding in the boat. Since the boat flies up over the waves, it's not bouncing around giving the body a lot of stress and uh, jolts as you're going through the waves. Instead, this flies over the waves. When the boat's flying above the water, it also puts off 95% less wake. 
So if you're going by another boat, you can go by them at rapid speed without even creating the wake that they've got to bounce over. Finally, this brings us to the sea keeping ability of this boat. It's dynamically adjusted through the gyroscope, accelerometer, and the real-time sensor inputs. So this boat makes adjustments 100 times per second to the hydrofoil to ensure that it's stabilized and optimized for the sea state conditions. We'll show you some rough water conditions here, but one thing to note is this boat can actually go through a one meter wave much smoother than any conventional boat that's out there. This is achieved because it essentially flies over the wave itself. Now, if we get into waves as big as two meters, that all depends on the sea state. So if you're out on the open ocean and you have a large wave period, that's a nice smooth rolling wave, even if it's a six foot wave, this, this boat can easily fly right over that. Now you may get into a condition someday where you have a large ferry going by and you turn the boat in and try to go through that ferry wake. Now the boat is designed to plow through that wake, but being a lightweight craft, it is going to slow the vessel down. So it can punch through a wave, however it will slow down because it's no longer flying over. The boat's designed with various safety features, but again, you have to operate this safely depending on what the sea state condition is and the environment that you're in. If you do have a hard impact with the hydrofoil, it is designed to break off and then the vessel will just cruise down into the water. But just like operating a helicopter or a submarine from a large luxury yacht, the same safety conditions come in here. So safety first and planning. One thing Denison Yachting does for any of our new boat buyers is we will include training on this vessel. We're now accepting offers for this hydrofoiling electric boat. Our lead time is two to three months to have it built out. And basically, if you want one of these, we need to specify what your color scheme is and what the interiors are. A few options that we can include include a trailer, a custom cradle for your boat lift, as well as a custom cradle if you're going to mount this onto a mega yacht. Now, this boat has a ton of potentials to be used as a tender or high-end toy on a luxury mega yacht, as well as for private use and entertainment rental and charter. We'd love to hear what you think about hydrofoiling electric boats and look forward to seeing your comments. Please ring the bell down below at the subscribe button for updates. For additional information, please email me at ts at denisonyachting.com. Also, feel free to text me at 404-805-9819. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below, and be on the lookout for additional videos from